Keep on the sunny side, always on the sunny side. Keep on the sunny side of life. It will help us every day. It will brighten all the way. If you keep on the sunny side of life. Well, change. It's something that's really hard for us. Something that's hard to not be afraid of, to not be worried about. Even creation itself forces us to deal with change. I mean, look, aren't these beautiful? The vine maples are changing. I had to make a little short trip up high just to reflect a little bit as i thought about it it just reminded me so much about about change and all that we have to face the you know here we are we've moved from spring <laughs> into through summer and now the smoke is gone but autumn has come and change is going to come. The, the world itself that God made welcomes it and reminds us of it. You just can't escape it. And even winter, <clears throat> when the dark times come and you know that they're going to come. And this is all a part of God's plan. In those dark days, when the storms come and begin to pound the growth of the spring and the summer and even the autumn into wood, into the strength that will hold these giant trees that I find myself sitting among. Even in those times when we can't imagine that there's any kind of growth happening, there in fact is a type of growth happening. It's the growth of strengthening what has been experienced and learned. You know, likewise, you and I, we have to accept the fact that nothing can really grow. We're always talking about, yeah, we wanna grow in our faith and grow in our love and grow in our, our uh, devotion to the Lord. But we really can't grow unless there's change. Nothing grows unless there's change. We find ourselves in seasons, it seems like, of darkness and storm. And those seasons can be seasons of growth for us too as we go forward. We're going to be pushed. We're going to be pushed to allow what we've been experiencing and the things that we've been learning and the things that we've been going through. We're going to be pushed further to turn those things that we've learned, maybe things that you've learned for most of your life, but especially the things that we've learned of recent, those are gonna be pushed into, built into the wood of character and of fruit. The fruit that God has called us to, to express the fruit of the spirit in our life. And um, this is incredibly important. There must be growth in our lives, but for growth to happen, we are to grow. Paul says, growing up in him, growing up to the full stature of Christ. For this growth to happen, though, there's going to have to be change. There's going to have to be intense change. And for there to be change, you're going to have to remember some things. You're going to have to remember that your faith is not built on keeping everything steady and the same and like it always was, but your faith is built on ultimate change. As a matter of fact, our very salvation is really about changing course. That's what repentance is, changing direction, changing your mind. Our life is this picture of becoming a new creation. If anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation 
old things have passed away. Everything's become new. It's about change. It's also when it comes to growth. He says, don't be conformed to the world. Don't be pushed into the mold of the kind of thinking that's coming from your culture or in the moment that you're living in. But be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may know what is that good and perfect will of God. It takes, it's going to be change. And change is coming for all of us, for you and for me. And how we handle that change is going to be say everything about whether we don't manage it well or that we really grow in Christ. There's going to be change. It's going to happen. And in the end, ultimately, it tells us that what's going to happen? Well, we are going to be changed, that mortality will put on immortality. There's no greater change, perhaps, than that. This week, as we get to the weekend, we're going to talk about, really for the next two weeks, about change as we look to seeing this happening, being able to welcome it, and to look at it. And if we learn how to deal with, not only with change as it comes, how to deal in times of change, we will also learn how to change, that the need to change in our own lives. We will not see that staying the same or never changing our way of thinking or never approaching things from a different way. Uh, God's truth is always right. But sometimes we have to change in how we fully understand it. It's true. I just want to close by sharing this, that, you know, if you don't learn how to deal with change in your fight of faith, what will happen is you'll end up spending all of your time fearing and fighting and a lot of the time freaking out in ways that you shouldn't, that don't really give honor and testimony to the Lord. And we don't need to do that. You don't need to do that. Because you see, change is what has to happen for growth. And you can change and I can change and we will change. And hopefully we can help each other change together to be more like the Lord. And when we see these changes happening, will not despair, but will recognize within the work of God, God makes all things beautiful in his time.